Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. She she knows what she's talking to him to accomplish. The hours are tough. So we see the girl on the left edge, and then those are two undercover officers out there on the right. All right, we got to turn that off because we're going to roll right into this. The danger is high. Oh, there she is. What time do you remind when you approach the car? Um, I just hope that it goes smoothly. The goal is to let him think he's dictating things, although he's not. These women are, are walking up and down the street with... Uh, These women are the force behind LAPD's human trafficking unit. Teams of, of investigators that pose as undercover uh, prostitutes. We have to conceal their identities and real names. Jade is 27. My grandfather is in my job. Uh, he retired with LAPD. I always joked with him about, you know, maybe one day I would go in his shoes. At 38, Sarah is the eldest of the group. Uh, it's a completely different persona. You're out of your comfort zone, and you're basically learning to become a prostitute. 27-year-old Marissa grew up right here along the Sepulveda Corridor. So we listen to audio. Audio of, like, previous girls that were also in the unit, so we get comfortable with how to talk to people, the language, because human trafficking, it's, it's a culture. And 36-year-old Nancy was inspired by school. My mom isn't very happy with it. She always tells me to be safe, and she's like, are you wearing wigs and stuff so people don't recognize you? The focus of their operation tonight to attract a pimp. These guys are violent felons, wanted, or with previous arrests for murder, beating up, raped, kidnapped. This could be a John, or maybe he's a pimp. Stupid, I made his mom die, stupid. Why? We spotted plenty of Johns looking for sex. Just car after car after car that's stopping. We thought things had cooled down to the night, but just when we were getting ready to go home, LAPD's Valley Bureau caught another John. What were you doing? What were you trying to do? You mean, do you want to share with us what you were doing out here in your store, your background? No. But the pimps are smarter. They're experts at tracking down the most vulnerable, enslaving them. It's penetrating all segments of society. And they're making more money after trafficking women and children than they are selling guns and drugs. That's a known fact. They'll, they'll come up to you and it's not like, hi, how are you? What's your name? And they'll straight out start to say the B word. They get in my car. She's moving because we've arrested that guy before. He's a trafficker. Like, not like a scary moment, nothing like that. It's more like, wow, like this guy is out in the street again, fortunately recruiting, looking for his next victim. These fierce female officers say the risk they face is worth it if they can help the actual prostitutes they meet on the streets. There's a better way. There's a better, better life out there. In the end, the best thing is uh, putting these guys in jail. Christina Pascucci, KTLA 5 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please. Please subscribe.